Hi, my name is Brian Higgins. The topic of this presentation is the flexible data model explained. In short, the flexible data model is used by Fiber Manager and it's been that way for five, six years in terms of what's been done. Um, what I want to do is kind of put it in the context of a fiber optic cable. And this is a really bad drawing <laughs> of a fiber optic cable. But in terms of the whole circle, that is your cable. Okay, the, the circles around, these are represented by the buffer tubes. Okay, and the red in here are actually the fibers, the individual fibers that are transmitting light, transmitting data. Now, the flexible data model is used pretty much by Fiber Manager is to, to set up a parent-child relationship between various objects. In essence, we can pretty much build any type of equipment that is presented to us. Um, if we wanted to, we could set up a fiber optic cable to not even use buffer tubes by setting the parent of a strand to the cable. A little bit of a warning. A lot of times messing with the flexible data model will not, the end resultant model won't be compatible with Schneider Electric's WavePoint. So typically staying in the box, the standard model that is used is generally recommended unless uh, it is uh, uh, deemed warranted. There are five fields that are utilized by the flexible data model. First is Global ID. Global ID is assigned by the GIS. We have no control over it. Okay, the second, fiber parent. Fiber parent, that is, the, that is the global ID of the parent object. Number three, this fiber class model name. This fiber class model name is, is pretty much going to be set up where the ESRI, or the default value that is set via ESRI properties must equal the object model name. Let's talk a little bit about this. From our cable, now the out-of-the-box model has the model name of sheath. Okay? Of sheath. Okay? So, the ESRI default value for this fiber class model name is sheath. The child, as we've already talked about, which is the buffer tube. The, so, the model name for buffer tube is actually buffer tube. Okay, so the value that's going to be entered here for the buffer tube object, well, it is buffer tube. Then the child of a buffer tube, okay, is fiber strand. Okay, the key thing is whatever is put here as the default value, you must have the object model name assigned to the object or, or feature class. The fourth field is fiber parent model name. Okay, that will be the model name that's assigned to the parent object. Okay, lastly, the fiber child class model name. That's the model name, as you would expect, of the child. Okay, so this, so when we're setting this up, you know, you set these values up to work you know, and it's, it's pretty straightforward. Now, okay, so when we're setting up the sheath, okay, we just have to set up this fiber class model name equals sheath, okay, the, the fiber child class model name is going to be set to buffer tube. When we're talking about the buffer tube uh, table, the, the, this fiber class model name is buffer tube, where the fiber child is, is equal to uh, fiber strand. When we're talking about the fiber strands, okay, pretty much the only thing we have to assign is this fiber class model name equals fiber strand, okay, because there is no child of a fiber strand, 
to, to talk about. Now, and, and there's, there's one exception to the rule. In the case in, uh, in my presentation where we're showing panels, you can have multiple devices, okay, that possibly within a rack. In a rack, if you have a rack object, you can have two different related objects, or actually two or more. You could have a device, you can have a panel, okay, et cetera. Okay, so explicitly setting the child of a rack is not applicable. So we've got to give it the multi-container, the fiber multi-container model name, and then assign the fiber parent model name to the, the, the two sub-related sub, uh, objects. This was an extremely quick summary of the flexible data model. It can get complicated. So, I have written three or four blog posts. I encourage you to, to, to utilize this for additional reference material. I hope this was beneficial to you. This is going to get weird, but that's all right. We'll see how it goes. So you go by Higgins as well? Yeah. You, you can call me anything you want to call me. Uh, don't tell me. <laughs> I, buddy, it, it's totally fine. Action. Uh, hi, my name is Brian Higgins. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, when I said... You said action. Yeah, but I said wait three seconds. Three seconds. Do you want me to play it back? I'll play it back. I'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> the video doesn't lie. That's right. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to say action and just wait three seconds. I'm count three. All right, here we go. And action.